do some reactions to stuff, right? Because it's been a minute. Um, but I saw something pop up in my feed saying Chris stands up to his mother. And I saw the own network and I saw how they had this family or fiance show that's um, on television. And I liked the few episodes that I saw. So I'm going to do a live reaction to this clip. Uh, that I have not seen. So let's let's get into it. It's funny. I'm happy that you're here and uh, we're all here to have this uh, discussion. I wanted to know when I was born, um, what, what did you want for me? The best in everything. I feel like I'm at a point where I'm at my best, yes. and I'm doing my best, and Falash is helping me become that, and she's giving me the potential and the, the support mm -hmm. to be the best that I can be. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you don't, you don't see that. You always say you want the best, so when you say that, that means that I'm not the best for Chris. The best I want for him is him alone, it's not you included. Your son chose, chose me. Mm -hmm. You know, we chose each other. This blessing is not gonna make or break me. Babe, let me talk to I'm my just, mom. I'm just, I'm gonna go, cause like I said, this is not about me. Okay. I asked you what it was that you wanted for me, and you said you wanted me to be at my best. Falasha helps me be at my best. And I know you don't see that, but I can't fight for your approval anymore. Falash is gonna become my number one woman and you're always gonna be my mother. That, no one can take that away from you, mom. Mm -hmm. And I just need you to know that I'm not just gonna dash you away or, or leave you in the cold. I would never do that to you. You're my mom, you're my mom and my dad. You've been there for me from beginning to now, but I need you to let me go, ma, so I can, I could flourish so I can grow. This is gonna be a change and a start to something great. And I really wanted you to support me. And for you to hold out on that, it hurts, ma, you know? I'm fighting for your blessing and you're like holding it over my head. Cause we both know how powerful that blessing is. Why should I do, say, go ahead and do it while a little something is left? What's a little something? You have to give me that respect that we, the way that you talk. You have to like, figure that out, because I did my part and then you yes, know that. but I'm not ready today as we sit down here. I'm not ready yet. She got up and she walked away and she realized that 
this is it's not about me. It's between y'all. So that shows some maturity on 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 her end. But he also said, "Baby, let me let me talk to my mama. Let me let me let me do this." And he said, "Very respectable." You know, let me say this again. What did you want from me? And you know, the mother says the best. And then she says, "I want you to be alone. I want I don't want you to be with her." And he was just like, "Well." <laughs> This individual makes me my best, and I feel that she makes me feel like like I can be my best with her and, and with her being in my life. Like, he made it very obvious that, look, you're my mom, but when it comes to my future and my future wife, you still gonna be mama, but please understand that the roles are going to change. Like, this has to be the number one woman in my life. And that takes a lot. There wasn't a father in the video. I can make an educated guess that maybe she's a single mom and it's just been her and her son. And he's just making it plain. Like, I'm your son, but I'm not your man. Like, you know, we got to understand this. And when he got up and he walked away, putting it, pretty much putting it out there like, I'm getting up and walking away and I'm a man and I'm making, I'm, I'm walking my own path. So you giving me my blessing means a lot, but from his body language, he made it evident that your blessing is not necessary. I want their blessing. You know how important the blessing is, but it's not necessary. And did he just evolve into a minor? Like he was respectable. He didn't raise his voice. He wanted to know where she was coming from. Now, I'm not a mother, um, but I can only imagine you feeling as if someone is taking your child away via marriage. And there has to be an understanding that nobody's taking him away. This is the next step in his life. So that took a lot for him to say, look, mom, this is what it is. I, I, I love you, but what do you want for my life? Like this, like letting it be known. This is my life, not yours. I came from you, but I'm not you. Such a beautiful moment. I cannot wait um, to watch this entire episode to see what was the end result of this. Um, I love shows that in, intrigue, like thinking and, and you know, it's reality. This is a reality show, but not. A reality show based upon production of what they think is best like catching families in the moment how they feel um, this show is basically to where they introduce their fiance to their family and they get their family's opinion about hey do you think we're ready for marriage do you think that this is best but wow this clip right here this clip right here that was deep man he 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 uh grew an ass on his chest after that. I love that. And and I don't know it took a lot for that fiance to get up and walk away. It's no telling what type of experiences they had, arguments, anything like that, that, that created that static. But he was wise to see that, man, maybe some static is happening because of my mom and she's not understanding that this is what it is. So for him to take that stand, I can, t I can make a good guess that that mother had to say, well, this is what my son wants. Like, you can't treat him like a child anymore. And he made it plain that I'm not a child. I'm a man. Let me know what you thought. Put your comments down below. I can't wait to have some healthy debates. Make sure that you respect each other in the comments. Until next time, I'll see you. Bye.